Do not listen to this meditation while driving or operating any machinery. This meditation is not intended as a replacement or substitute for medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Consult your physician and CDC-issued COVID-19 health guidelines for appropriate medical treatment recommendations. Immediately contact your health care provider and seek medical attention if you have or suspect you have symptoms of coronavirus. Use this meditation and guided imagery to assist in your health, well-being, and to alleviate fears. By listening to this meditation, you acknowledge that you are responsible for your own well-being. The intention of this meditation is to alleviate, clear, dissolve, and resolve fears about and around the coronavirus. Additionally, the intention is to activate all body systems and the intelligence of the body and your sentient consciousness at all levels to recognize the coronavirus and begin producing antigens and an appropriate immune response. We will use our vibration to energetically transit out the consciousness of this virus. Pull up images of the coronavirus while you're listening. Take a deep breath. Sit in stillness. Breathe deeply. We call upon the Holy Presence of the Infinite One, the Omnipresent Consciousness and Sentience of the All That Is, source consciousness from which we have been from which we were created and from which we emanate focus on your tailbone and connect to your personal earth star six to eight inches below your feet And from your earth star, draw a cord all the way up to the, your 11th chakra, which is 18 inches above your head. Balance, align, become whole, see yourself as whole. Also going to activate, activate your light body, the mental body, and your emotional body. We're going to call forth each layer and level of the physical body system, starting with the skeletal bone matrix. bone matrix is connected to the first chakra or the tailbone. Call forth the fascia network or the fascia matrix. Call forth the endocrine system, your neurological system your craniosacral system, the skin and exocrine system, the muscle system, the digestive system, the circulatory system and the blood matrix, the renal system, the reproductive system, the lymphatic and immune systems, which also includes the bone marrow. Activate your endocannabinoid system, 
which is the communication and connection network of all the cells in the physical body that communicate together. Also imagine the intercellular spaces meaning within the cells and are all the organelles and the intracellular network or the spaces between the cells. Activate all the RNA and DNA in your body, getting down to the core atomic and subatomic levels that the DNA and RNA are made of, the mitochondrial DNA. And we enhance the communication between all these physical body systems, the mental body, the emotional body, and the light body. We also call forth all of the major organs of the body, the brain, the heart, the lungs, something even saying the diaphragm, the stomach, the spleen, the intestines, the large intestines, the kidneys, the bladder, the liver, the gallbladder, the something is right now saying the adenoids, the tonsils if you still have them. Breathe deeply. Now looking at the images that I've pulled up, I took a snapshot of several images that I found on the web of the coronavirus. So look at this coronavirus. Oh, something also saying to amplify and fortify a shield around us. I activate the annihilation matrix and call forth the periwinkle dragon to transit out all that we're going to release. Release it out to meet Holy Father or to be annihilated. So looking at this coronavirus, really looking at the virus, feel wherever you may be experiencing fear about this virus. Activating, I'm activating liquid choker ray and liquid fire serpent. And direct these energetic liquid light symbols to where your body is feeling the fear or experiencing the fear. Allow the f those fear matrices because they're like form into like a webbing or balls of energy of fear about the coronavirus or any other fear, survival fears that we may be having right now with the food supply, the water supply, the financial systems. Look at where you're feeling that fear and where you might have blocks of energy of that fear in the physical body, in the mental body, the emotional body. 
And note that the light body does not feel this fear. The light body is experiencing at the soul level. The light body has information to guide you. And so directing liquid chokure and liquid, liquid uh, fire serpent to those areas that you need. Feel any blocks just dissolving. Activating liquid violet flame and the symbol will literally wash away those blocks that were now just being dissolved or broken up or loosened. However, you're, you're feeling it or seeing it and allow that to be transited out by this periwinkle dragon. Now really look at this coronavirus cells for what it is. They have a membrane around them. That is kind of like an icky, sticky, gooey shell of a membrane. Feel what this feels like from your physical body perspective so that the body recognizes it for what it is. Feel the consciousness of this coronavirus. It generates a lot of fear. It's very fear-based itself. Notice how it feels. Notice any color to it, any other texture or sound or a visual of what it elicits. Within it, there is sort of this more icky sticky kind of fluid in it. I'm going to call upon the diamond dragons now to literally breathe its fire breath into this fluid and the cell walls. To get down to the RNA and any DNA fragments that it may have. This is not part of the planetary consciousness. Call, call upon Gaia, the consciousness of the earth, the collective consciousness of the earth. To really look at this coronavirus Really look deeply at it. Look at its RNA. Look at any DNA fragments that might be embedded in there as well. Its coding is what I would call evil. Not in good or bad way, but just recognize it that it's, it's out of balance. It is not of a higher consciousness that our soul actually vibrates at. It's not of a consciousness that our light body vibrates at. And so the word evil in this term right now just means that it is not consciousness 
of the light. It does not know light. It does not see light. It doesn't mean we have to make friends with it or try and save it because it's really not a living organism. It has low vibrational consciousness. It has atoms and subatomic particles to it, but it's really only vibrating in what we would call 3D space. It is, its magnetic principle is to just hold fear. It's just to spread fear. It's to spread survival fears. It was created to instigate confusion and war on the planet and war within ourselves. Because if we're preoccupied with fighting a battle within, we can't see what's happening at the greater spiritual levels. And so this virus is a consciousness that is not vibrating at a fifth dimensional consciousness. It's a bi-wave structure, not a tri-wave. And so I activate a tri-wave, the tri-wave infinity symbol, to and embed it into this coronavirus. And when the body comes in contact with this virus, then the body's intelligence will know what to do. The body's intelligence will immediately recognize it and put, put it in a tri-wave symbol, in the tri-wave symbol. And in this moment, I also activate the tri-wave infinity symbol to really harness these virus protoplasmic like um, not even really a cell but a sac these protoplasmic like sacs that are holding fear vibrational RNA and DNA and because of our innate soul intelligence we can create infinite um, amounts of these tri-wave symbols and triple tri-wave symbols. And it will surround every one of these coronavirus sacs if our bodies come into contact with it. We're calling forth the in intelligence of every cell in our body every organ of our body, every organelle of our body is being infused with this consciousness. This awareness is being spread through our fascia network and our endocannabinoid system. And in this moment, we're going to call upon the Mother Ark, Holy Mother, opening the, whole, the Mother Ark gateway into the quantum field where the seven universes of microconsciousness units are replenishing and feeding new information into the quantum field. And we will infuse this, these sacs of RNA and DNA with this information, new information from the quantum field, that these are not uh, atoms or subatomic particles that have been aware or operating in a higher consciousness field, and infusing them with the new consciousness or the sentient consciousness 
of the Holy Mother through this Mother Art Gateway. These RNA strands and any potential DNA strands that may exist in there will be fragmented. They are being fragmented. They are being fragmented. And the plasma-like cell wall of gooey, sticky substances are also being dissolved. It's being dissolved. We see the RNA strands literally dissolving. They cannot hold together in that higher consciousness field. And all this, all the debris that's created as this, these sacs and RNA and DNA that exist in these sacs are being dissolved. And don't let the outer walls, cannot fool the outer walls of the sacs. They cannot fool our bodies. They cannot fool our cells. They cannot fool our body systems. They cannot fool our, the intracellular spaces. Because they wear masks, these, these, sacks of organisms or whatever we want to call them, these non-living sacks wear a disguise, but our bodies will recognize their energetic signature. Even if they mutate slightly, our bodies will recognize the energy signature of these sacks of these plasma, dirty plasma-like sacs. And they will be harnessed and dissolved by these new divas of, or devas of liquid light, sanato, Sanati, she 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 wa se 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 se. Sanate, o sho wa se 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 ne ti ti. And sanatwa. Our bodies will recognize them instantly. Let's now take a moment and clear, dissolve, resolve any fears and replace the word fear with discernment in the uh, lower three access points, what was once the chakras that are still kind of there with this diamond around it now. The first three and the, and the heart chakra as well will do. So, so the first chakra or first dimension, we clear, dissolve, resolve any fears. Replace it with the word discernment because we don't want to not be able to discern when there is potentially uh, some type of harm or um, that may come to us. So we're just going to replace it with the word discern. Appropriate discern, not fear-based discernment. So write the word discern on the root. Going to the sacral or the second chakra. Clear, dissolve, resolve 
any fears, fear programs in the second or sacral. Replace with the word discern. Going to the third or solar plexus. Clear, dissolve, resolve any fears. Replace it with the word discern. Appropriate discernment. Also rewire the mental body with this word discernment. Let the word discernment as an energy run through the fascia network, the endocrine system, the endocannabinoid system, appropriate discernment. Call forth the emotional body, and let's do the same. Let's infuse the emotional body with the words, vibrations of, of love that come from love, universal love, cosmic love from the one Holy One, words like peace and serenity, infuse this into, we infuse this into our light bodies, which then infuses it into our physical bodies, compassion, compassion for others, compassion for ourselves. compassion and love to our physical bodies and every organelle and organ of our bodies that really do an amazing job of keeping us safe, of keeping the integrity of this body, working holistically to maintain a level of peace and vibrational coherence. We are one with this body. Take a moment and let's look at the light body. We're going to close out any holes or damage to the light body in this moment at all dimensional levels. The light body also has a chakra-like system that connects to the dimensions. So we're just going to go by each dimension. The first dimension, wherever there is light body holes, use one of these or all of these energies, liquid gold, liquid silver, liquid tanzanite, liquid platinum, liquid sapphire, liquid emerald, liquid ruby, seal your light body. I'm just going to go through each dimension without repeating those liquid light energies. Just allow your soul to know which one it needs. So second dimension, repair any holes or damage to the light, light body at the second dimensional level. At the third dimensional level,
at the fourth dimensional level. The fifth dimensional level. And pause this if you need to, if you're doing more work or if you feel that you're doing more work. The sixth dimensional level. At the seventh dimensional level. The eighth dimensional level. The ninth dimensional level. The tenth dimensional level. The eleventh dimensional level. And the twelfth dimensional level. Seal the light body. Make new connections from your light body with your physical body that's available to you in this moment. Or deeper connection and communication with your light body. The physical body feels great comfort and relief to have the support, the greater support of the light body now. The true soul support of the light body. Just going to go through each dimensional law that the 12 galactic suns transmitted to us, starting with the 12th dimension because this is the earth star six to eight inches below your feet. The cosmic Christ consciousness made manifest. The first dimension, which is the root level, the law structure the second dimension, the law of omniscient omnipresence. The third dimension, the law of form. The fourth dimension, the law of the trinitized form. The fifth dimension, the law of co-creative abundance. The sixth dimension, the law of sacred union. The seventh dimension, the law of cosmic vision. The eighth dimension, the law of consensus. The ninth dimension, the law of abundant realities. The tenth dimension, the law of unified fields. And the eleventh dimension, the law of sacred nature. In alignment with the law of one, and in service to the one source of all that is, I close and seal this session into the light. And so it is.